Good day, beautiful people. Wherever you are in the world, it's a beautiful day today and I'm out here in nature. Um, it's, it's been a beautiful day and I just had a beautiful experience, really, just a beautiful experience. It was painful to the body, but it was a beautiful experience. And I welcome you to the divine truth, where we bring out the truth in any concept. So today we're going to speak about what they don't want you to know about hell everything that they don't want you to know about hell first and first before i start this video because i know this speaks to many christians and christians tend to have um, a lot of judgish mentality so here's something that i want to start with uh, let me just reduce this a bit yeah cool yes this is what this is what I want to start with first and first. You must know that we are spiritual beings before we are physical beings. And that heaven and hell are not physical places like everybody has put them out to be. Heaven and hell are not physical places. Heaven and hell are spiritual places. I just wanted to get that off the way before I dive into this video. Now what, what Christians call demons, I call them entities. The demons know that exactly, that heaven and hell are not physical places. And we must know that demons are master deceivers. They deceive us a lot, they are master manipulators. So they will always do anything to manipulate us. They will always do anything to, to just make sure that they get us out of alignment. Now here's the greatest trick that is not in any book. It was never written before and God just revealed it to me because God took me to a place. It's, it's a church that I, I, I wasn't even interested in visiting. So as I went to the church, I was like, I was, I was like, okay, why did God bring me here? Because I just, I just, I, just, I was just led by intuition. Christian says I was just led by the spirit. And then as I went into the place, I realized that they, 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 they were preaching about heaven and hell. And there was when I was watching this video about a guy who, who claims that he went to heaven and then he went to hell. That's all cool. It's all beautiful. And what happened was, as I was there, I started to, to because I'm a spiritual being, I started to experience hell. I'll tell you a lot about it. I started to experience hell, literally. And I was like looking at everybody else and I couldn't, I, 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 people were, were, were either sleeping while that, 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 that tape was playing. People, people were either sleeping while the tape was playing or they were either uh, a bar, they were either looking in their phones, they were either busy. Then I was like, why aren't these people feeling what I am feeling? Is it something that I'm feeling or is it only for me? Then that's when God started to show me that actually here's what people don't know about heaven and hell. And I'm going to tell you to it. I'm going to tell you about it right now. God showed me that because you are a spiritual being, you can never know anything about hell as long as you are in hell. You can never understand the concept of it because you are already in it and you can never ex ex understand the concept of heaven when you are in heaven this is like this when when you are feeling depressed and and and, and somebody comes and tells you about depression you don't want to hear about that do you get that you don't want to hear about depression because what you just want is to get out of depression then as i went back to review everything that was happening then I started to realize that actually what people was doing, they were using what they know how to use to get out of hell because everybody was in hell. Hell, it's an experience, it's a feeling because God, it's more of a, we, we, we hear the frequency. We can't, we can't see spirits, we cannot see spirits, but we feel the frequency of spirit through our own feelings. So what happened was that everybody felt heaven, felt hell actually, and everybody wanted to get out of hell. Just, just like right now. I can never um, explain to you about hell as long as I'm experiencing hell. You can feel that I'm experiencing the joy and the peace unless you come with your own hell. 
with come we come with our own fear whatsoever so i started to realize that when we are in hell because we are not created to be in hell all that we are trying to do is to get out we use it by pressing our phones we use it by sleeping we use it by by not paying attention so many things just so that we can get out of hell then god started to show me that that's the reason why people could not hear what you were saying because they just wanted to get out of hell so the reason why you can't know anything about hell the master manipulation that demons use they take you to hell first experientially then they will tell you about hell that's why they'll show you pictures of things that are frightening so that you may be afraid and when you become afraid just begin to speak about hell demons will begin to speak about hell they know that you won't hear a thing because what you are trying to do is to get out then from there what you're gonna hear is pictures so you're gonna conceptualize hell and say hell it's, it's like this it's like this it's like this that's why everybody when they speak about heaven and hell they only speak about concept places that they think they are that demons will come this way angels will come this way but here's what you never knew hell is a feeling that feeling that you feel that your body vibrates so much that that that, that fearful feeling that's what hell is it's nothing else so feelings always gives us the frequency of something that is present when god is present we will feel the love peace and joy then when hell is present you will feel the fear so every single day many of the human beings and i included not long ago i was trapped in hell and i couldn't get out because i wasn't even aware that i was trapped in hell i was caught up in in desires when somebody is caught up in desire wanting to have fancy food fancy clothes and everything they are caught up in hell that's their way of escaping hell then i was caught up in hell with no hope of getting out and i couldn't even see myself i couldn't even understand myself that's when god came to, to me and made me realize that when people are in hell they can never understand anything about hell because what they want to do they want to get out of hell when people are in hell they can never understand anything about heaven because what they want to do they just want to get out of hell so as i as i entered that place i could feel hell before i even before anything ever happened so there's a reason why people were sleeping they were busy trying to bring themselves out of hell so many human beings are in hell right now because of the energy that i'm giving to you get out of hell and then when you are in joy, that's when you can start to understand how hell operates. So from me to the fellow Aasha, I say it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. Once again, have a beautiful day. Have an amazing day. Be loving, be joyful and be peaceful. And don't forget, God is with you. Peace.